living on a farm, being a farm kid, um, we had cattle and goats and chickens, and I run farm machinery, so that was kind of my world. That's uh, what I really enjoyed doing. When I went to high school, I was fortunate enough to be introduced to an ag program in which I had two advisors that uh, offered a lot of opportunities that met my interest. They got me hooked up to livestock judging, being an officer, um, introduced me to a lot of leadership opportunities through the FFA, and so I really enjoyed it. When I got to college, I had an advisor, and you know, it's time to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life. Um, and I thought it was engineering. And so my advisor said, have you ever considered being an ag educator? And it was just like the light bulb went on. What a better job to be able to interact with kids and you know, help them prepare for college and career options. There's quite a few kids in this program that's got different backgrounds. They're not all what I would consider farm kids. And so what I try to do is provide a diverse program, provide them a lot of different opportunities because there's a lot of different things kids can do within this organization. With the school supporting the program, we're looking at getting a school farm um, in which uh, we'll probably have a poultry facility where they can incubate eggs and raise chickens and sell the eggs. We'll have a raised vegetable bed. Um, we'll have an orchard where we have fruit, fruit trees. We're gonna have the greenhouse where we can do hanging baskets. Um, I like to provide as many hands-on opportunities as possible. You know, we're sitting in the shop right now. We've got arc welders. We've got a computerized plasma cam. We've got a small engine station. They've got an electricity station. These are all things that can help kids. You know, not every kid's planning on going to college, but they can learn a skill. They can learn knowledge that possibly can get them a job later on in life. Our program was recognized as a model of excellence finalist in addition to a national three-star program. That's big time. That means we're one of the best in the nation and the state. So I do dream big. Um, I'm constantly thinking of new ways to be able to provide kids opportunities. And I don't like to just teach from a book. I don't like just to hand worksheets. I don't just like to lecture. If I can find a way to make it entertaining as well as hands-on, those are the stories that those kids are going to take back home and share with their folks. Those are going to be the memories. I can't think of a kid that's like, well, that unit two, you know, record keeping, that was just changed my world. No, it's going to be, when I got to go in the shop and actually arc weld two pieces of metal together, and got that tested and that taught me a skill that I can use on the farm or later on. I enjoy coming to work every day. It, you know, it's more than just a career. It's kind of a hobby. I enjoy watching these kids learn. I enjoy seeing the success that they have. Um, one of the highlights of my life is them reaching back out to me and said, hey, you know, because of the things that I did in your program, I'm loving life on, you know, these are the different jobs that I've got to experience. And, so, and the people that I've got to meet and the places I've got to travel. This school is made up of a lot of really highly qualified educators. So to be recognized as a district teacher of the year meant a lot to me, you know. It was a real humbling and it was real exciting and it was a really happy day for me. Thank you in general to everyone that believes in my MFFA and this Ag Ed department.